Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles to Daily Lessons, and today we're on Lesson 338. I am affected only by my thoughts. It needs but this to let salvation come to all the world. For in this single thought is everyone released at last from fear. Now has he learned that no one frightens him and nothing can endanger him. He has no enemies and he is safe from all external things. He has the power to change them and exchange each fear thought for a happy thought of love. He crucified himself, yet God has planned that his beloved son will be redeemed. Your plan is sure, my father, only yours, until other plan, all other plans will fail. And I will have thoughts that will frighten me until I learn that you have given me the only thought that leads me to salvation. Mine alone will fail and lead me nowhere. But the thought you gave me promises to lead me home because it pro holds the promise to your son. I'll read it again. I am affected only by my thoughts. It needs but this to let salvation come to all the world. For in this single thought is everyone released at last from fear. Now has he learned that no one frightens him and nothing can endanger him. He has no enemies and he is safe from all external things. His thoughts can frighten him, but since these thoughts belong to him alone, he has the power to change them and exchange each fear thought for a happy thought of love. He crucified himself, yet God has planned that his beloved son will be redeemed. Your plan is sure, my father, only yours. All other plans will fail, and I will have thoughts that will frighten me until I learn that you have given me the only thought that leads me to salvation. Mine alone will fail and lead me nowhere, but the thought you gave me promises to lead me home because it holds your promise to your son. So this is a great uh, lesson today. I am affected only by my thoughts. And this is a, this is a critical uh, piece to really understand because we, we create the fear with our thoughts. Uh, I want to address one thing that this chapter says or that this lesson says. Uh, he crucified himself. So um, I believe what this means is that Yes, there was a physical crucifixion that occurred. But it is the thought of the person being crucified that makes it that. Otherwise, it's just other people nailing people to a cross. I don't know if I'm making that clear or if that's helping. But everything we see is an illusion, right? So it's our thoughts about what we think we see and experience that make it real. So if we're holding thoughts of atonement, of onement, of being one, then you're not going to react or have the same thoughts about something as you would if you're believing in separation. So I hope that helps. Um, if you need additional support, reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Uh, you can message me through Facebook or YouTube or SoundCloud or through my websites, angelsrest.com. That's the lodging site. I've done it again, haven't I? So let me just say, I have a lodging business, and uh, that lodging website is angelsrest.com. Um, but my uh, my coaching uh, websites are lindalamp.com and uh, lindalamp.shop. So um, not to be confused, but you could feel free to look at the other one because it's a beautiful place and uh, you might want to come and stay. It's, it is really a lovely place. 
and then you'd get to uh, meet with me and we could spend some time one on one. So uh, in any case, until tomorrow, namaste and much love.